Hello, Dave Dog here. We're back for season six of our Road to Glory save with Bradford Park Avenue. And we've had a really, really good pre season, culminating in today's first game against familiar rivals Blythe. We're playing at home. And this is the fifth time in a video that we've played Blythe and we've got a good record. We've won two and drawn two. Hopefully we can keep that unbeaten record going. Let's have a look what's been going on in the close season then. So first of all, let's go through the players that have left us. Some we've let go, some come to the end of the contract and left. Those that's left that we wanted to re-sign were Will Truman and George Pratt. Also leaving Tom Chiabi. Lloyd Smith, been with us a long time. Mikhail Shamov, John Joe Brazel, two youngsters who didn't improve. Carter Denson, who we thought was going to be a superstar, scored a lot of goals, but last season was a poor one for him. He's left. And Kieran McLaughlin, the left back, who played one or two games, but never really made the grade. So those are the players that have left us. Let's see who's come in then. So we needed quite a few players. We needed seven or eight players. And we've managed to get some of the key positions, mainly defence. So first of all, we got in Loik Aina, 24-year-old Congolese, central defender, predominantly a right footer. And he looks the business. Three-star current ability, four-star potential ability. If we look at his career so far, 24 games that season, 7 average, 31 games that season, 7.02. And last season, 44 appearances, one goal and three player the matches at 7.1. We've got him on a £240 a week contract. Next one up, Callum Jones. What we did was, with most of these, the scouting system isn't working because we've got no money. We went to director of football, Peter Crouch, and asked for his suggestions and then got all those ones that look decent in on trial. Callum Jones is one of the ones we've signed. He's a right back, two star current ability, but he's playing a lot better than that at the moment. Four and a half star potential ability, tackling 12, aggression 13, pace 13. Not played many games, went to Siren Sester, 21 games, one goal, two assists. Nothing special, it took a punt on him. The reason why was he was at Cardiff, he went free to Siren Sester, and then Middlesbrough picked him up from Siren Sester. Although he never made an appearance middle in the Premier League. And released by them. And we've picked him up. Another good signing. Next one. Again another trialist. Jack Hinchy. A central midfielder. 24 year old. 5 foot 11. Passing 13. Determination 13. Aggression 15. An all round midfield player. Player traits dictates tempo. Tries to play out of trouble. Likes ball played into feet. So he's a player that's comfortable on the ball. So the last one we signed 1st of August, just a few days ago, another trialist. He's a left back, Bo Beresford. Six foot three, left back, three star current ability, four and a half star potential, and tackling 10, aggression nine, pace 14. Look at that for pace, and acceleration 12. Not played a game, but has been on Newcastle and Wrexham's books. He was the last one. We've got Ferguson and Beresford at left back, both similar players, so they'll be fighting it out for that position. There's still some positions to fill. Striker, defensive midfielder, left winger, and we need another central defender. We had some other trialists that wouldn't sign for us, were picked up by other teams in higher divisions. One player going out, youngster Eric Cadden, gone to Whitehill on a free. Never really in the picture. If we look at the transfer centre, Callum Agius, A Agius, however you want to say it, we've put in a, a contract for loan from Crew. There are bids from other teams, from Boreham Wood and Dulwich Hamlet, and Scunthorpe are interested in loan, but they haven't made an offer yet. Scunthorpe are the favourites to take National League North this season. We've agreed a deal with Crew. Depends on the player, which team he wants to go to. As we can see, this is a four star left winger. He can also play advanced or as a normal left midfielder. If we can get him across the line, that'll be even better. So here we are, the National League North. We are ranked 13th, 33 to 1, so mid-table. Should we get some more players in, we could improve that and get pushing for those playoffs at last. So new teams in the league. Relegated Stevenage, our third favourites. Promoted AFC Telford. They got relegated the other season and they are seventh favourite. Surprise that one. Relegated Darlington and three other promoted teams, Hereford, Hitchin and Warrington. 
So those are the new teams in the league. Let's have a look then how we've been doing in the friendlies. So here we are, look at all those wins. Six out of seven, we've won. We started off away to Ratcliffe, a narrow 1-0 goal from Take Trusty. We then played a weakened team against Tranmere and lost 2-0, our only defeat in the pre-season. And then five straight wins, including beating local rivals Bradford City 3-2. We were 2 0 down and we came back. Goals from Sims, Hinchy, and Macaulay Brooksby. He's come through. He's been playing left wing from our under 18s. He's only one and a half star, but he's been playing really well and he will be good backup on that left side. Crawley in the National League 2 1. Goals from Lovick and our other youngster, target man Digger Guerrero, won it in the 81st minute. Nuneaton away. This is where we played a lot of trialists and this was a trialist. Lewis McCafferty, who we offered a contract to, but he's gone to a National League side. A defensive midfielder, but scoring two cracking goals in this game from outside the box. And Fred and Goy gave us a 3-0 win. We then played Alfreton, relegated last season away. And 2-1 De Gregorio again and Macaulay Brooksby. So this was a mainly young team that we played and this was our big friendly a big test more or less played out what would be our first team against hearts b team and won 4-1 sam fielding jim sims harry lovick and tate trusty all four goals coming in the first half hearts getting their act together and getting one back in the second half we couldn't have had a better pre-season and we're really confident going into this opening game so let's see how we're going to line up then. Home game. Let's get off to a good start. So this is how we're lining up today for our first game. McCauley's got the nodding goals. He continues his long run in the nets. Three out of the back four are new boys, including fullbacks Callum Jones and Bo Beresford. And new man Loic, Aina. Partners Tom Sams in the middle of the defence. Deep line playmaker. We're going to play him there until we find somebody better. He's been playing well. Sam Fielding, our record appearance maker. New boy, Jack Hinchy is a Mazala in the midfield. Behind Jim Sims, we have Ngoy on the right. Love it. Again, the skipper on the left. And Tate Trusty, he's been past fit to play 75 minutes as a shadow striker. Jim Sims is the second favourite for the top scorer in the league behind Ryan Edmondson. He's going to continue, according to the bookies, a scoring run from last season, better than one in two. And on the bench then, new backup keeper, Will Stanway, Connor Ferguson, Mark Hardin, Alex Williams, and Callum Stead. Again, he can only do 75 minutes, and he starts on the bench. Fred Ngoy has got the nod in the right wing position. So we're going in balance, 4-1-1-3-1. Been working well, as we've seen in the pre-season matches. Let's get into today's game. Let's see how Blythe are lining up. Will it be a 4-1? No, 4-2-3-1 is the formation. And former player Niall Osborne at right back for Blythe today. Let's hope we keep him quiet. He played against us last season and didn't do much. And let's get into the game. Let's skip the lineups, and we're away. It's an early corner from Fielding and headed over by Sams. So the match racing away and not much going on. Two shots from us, nothing on target. Harry Littlebick looks like he might have suffered a gashed leg, but I think he can play through this. We're on top on the momentum, but we are. There's another Fielding corner and Sams again going close. And I noticed there the short corner man, they have sent somebody out to mark him this time. We are favourites for this game, narrowly, 6-4, 13-8, Blythe. Here's Trusty getting away down the left. Trusty, can he get a ball in? Two defenders, and one of them takes it off him, but it's cleared out to Lovick. Lovick to new boy Hinchy's having a go, and just over. Just over the bar, good shot there. And we're having shots, but nothing on target. 0.65 of XG, it's a free kick, and it's Ngoy taking this one. Ngoy... Not usually seeing him, and he is just over. We're getting plenty of shots, but nothing on target. Our sights are out. Seven shots, nothing on target, but it's 
all the highlights are us. It's Lovick again. Lovick. The defenders are, are all out there. There must be some room in the middle. Sims knocks it back to Hinchy. Hinchy and Goy. Trusty and he's missed, but he looks offside there. Yep, offside. And we're trying to play them in. Look at the momentum. Nothing from Blythe, but it's nil-nil at half-time. The half-time team talk. I'm proud of everyone's efforts so far. Keep going. We can win this. Has had no outward signs from the players that that has uh, motivated them or anything. And we've Bo Bursford at left-back is low at 6.4 take trusty 6.5 we have to keep an eye on him and sims 6.5 so we need a better second half let's get into this second half then no highlights we see that Blythe have had a shot on target though I don't remember seeing that one and it's a corner to Blythe now it's the near post one but Sam's heads the ball clear and here he is that man Osborne on the left puts it in with his right foot but McCall is up and catches that one and throws it out we're building from the back here's Beresford to fielding and notice we've been playing through the midfield we've certainly stopped those long balls I don't know what's happened but it seems to have uh, something's worked and we're playing more football here's Trusty getting away on the left but two defenders against him he knocks it all the way back to Beresford Beresford inside to fielding fielding to Hinchy can he line one up and he's just wide again that's two shots from new boy Hinchy but nothing to trouble the keeper. Or the, we've got an injury now. Sam Fielding's injured. What's the injury? Potential knee injury. And we're going to have to make our first change in the 55th minute. Harding has played as a defensive midfielder before. So we're going to bring him in. He's not a deep line playmaker. We're going to make him an anchor. He's played as anchor before. That has weakened us because Fielding has been playing well. I hope that's not a serious one. What have we got? 55 minutes. Sims is not showing. 6.4. Trusty 6.4. Beresford 6.4. We'll give him a bit longer and just make that one in force change then. Harding comes on to replace Fielding. And 11 shots but nothing on target. We've certainly got to do better than this. Blythe not in the game at all. The momentum graph is all us. Lovick out on the left. Plays it back to Beresford again. Inside to Harding. Harding to Hinchy. We're finding Hinchy on the edge of the box. Is he going to make it third time lucky? But it's blocked. And Trusty over the bar. Osborne has gone off. So again, not playing so well. Here's Harding with a free kick. Knocks it into the box. Sims never wins any headers. And doesn't even look like he is interested in going for the header. So we've got plenty of men back here. Blythe. What a ball that was. That was like us last season. Just knocking it up to nobody. Trusty to Harding. Harding through ball. He's found Ngoy on the right. And Ngoy puts it in. And Sims finishes. Is he onside? Yes, the linesman's running back. And Sims opens his account. Good ball in from Ngoy. And we're one up. 73 minutes. First shot on target. Let's have a look at this again. Trusty. Harding. Harding. A lovely ball out. Finds Ngoy there. Takes it on his chest, knocks it into Sims, who's away from his marker, and puts it in. We're 1-0 up, 72 minutes. We're going to have to bring Trusty off. He's had his 75 minutes. Hinchy looks like he's given everything. Let's have a look then. So we're definitely going to bring Trusty off. And who can we play? I'm going to play Williams in that position. Tried him out in pre-season. And one game last season, he scored a hat-trick. So I'm going to play Williams there, Hinchy is not too bad, he's poor I'd like them to be very poor before I take them off, 6.3 Beresford's not playing well at all we're going to make a third, we're going to bring Ferguson on for Beresford so that's all three subs in and we'll keep it at that then, we'll keep the same tactics and 20 odd minutes to go can we add to the score There's no sign of Blythe at all all the momentum still us. 85 minutes. We've had 18 shots. One on target. Let's just change the instruction. Keep the tempo down. Be more disciplined. This is our seeing out get game. Time wasting. Yeah, we're into minute and added time. So five minutes added time. Let's see these out. And what a strange game. One goal from one shot on target. Two shots on target for Blythe. But look at the chances we had. 1.66. And we've got over the line. Although 
we should have had more 67 percent possession eight corners to three and Fred Ngoy, the man of the match, mainly for that ball through to Sims. Good performance by Sams at 7.9. McCauley, I don't know what he had to do. We never saw anything. There was two shots on target. He gets 7.5. So a good performance overall. We were looking for a better scoreline than that, but it's three points on the board. So all the scores on this opening day. Pre-season favourite Scunthorpe get a late winner at Telford. Files go down at home to Brackley. Geisley winning away at Matlock 3-0. Scarborough and Chorley sharing the points in a 2-2 draw. And Stevenage relegated and new at this level are top of the table. They won 4-1 against Kidderminster. So let's have a look where we're going to come back for the next game then. Just news on the Sam Fielding injury. It's just a bruised knee and only out for one to two days. So nothing to worry about there. The schedule then. So that's including the friendlies. Six games on the bounce we've won. That defence is looking much, much better than last season. Crowd, 689. That's funny because in the pre-match they said 706 tickets had been sold. So some some people not turning up. We're going to play a few games. We've got Geisley away. We're going to come back for Chorley away on the 28th of August. Another four games off camera and we come back for Chorley away. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you've got anything to say about our new look team, please leave some comments and I'll read them all and respond. Thanks very much for watching. This is Dave Dog. Bye for now.